Hey y'all. I know it's late, okay? And I'm not even expecting you guys to join this live, okay? But I got some Happy Meal while I was on vacation from Ray's Fashion Days. So um, she added some, some purses to her doll mall and it was a couple on there that I saw that I just had to have. Um, so, hey, Fluffy Tree. Shout out to Fluffy Tree. Woo, woo. Hey, doll lover. You see, I'm talking really quiet because everybody is asleep. But, oh my God. Hey, Barbie Brickhead. Look at y'all. I ain't trying to wake y'all up, okay? I just, I had to open this package I got from Ray. Her little sticker. Bye, y'all. If y'all ain't following Ray, go follow her, okay? She is freaking hilarious. Like, most of y'all low-key comedians, okay? I know I am. Like, I... Look, let me get my microphone out. Is this thing on? <laughs> Hello? Y'all know. Y'all already know. Like, y'all keep me cracking up. But Ray... Ray be having me weak. Like, only as crazy as I remember right now. That's the weird awesome. Right, Fluffy Tree? Girl, you about to make me buy them down. I'm not even about to go there. You about to make me buy another rainbow hot doll. Okay. If y'all ain't following Fluffy Tree, go follow Fluffy Tree on Instagram. Like, you should already be. If you're in the dark community, you should be following her. And go subscribe to her YouTube channel. Because she got all the all the rainbow high tea over there. About to make me buy another rainbow hot doll. And I don't even play with the ones I got. Okay. That's what it that's what a real influencer does. Deb, what are you doing up though? Miss Deb, if you don't carry your behind and sleep. <laughs> playing what we all playing with our dolls. So anyway, I got this from Ray. Okay. Obviously, it's a designer bag. Like, y'all know my weakness, my weakness. Bags. Okay, then like literally, yep, playing dolls. I knew it, Deb. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. So, um, oh. Oh. Okay, let me show y'all what I bought. Then I'm going to show y'all her little gift. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I got a bag and I got some shoes. So here's my bag. Okay, obviously it's designer. Okay, here's my shoes. Obviously, my dolls are bougie as hell. So, oh, I love the little box. It's so cute. It's the presentation for me, okay? This is why it's fun to buy from small businesses because, you know what I'm saying, we be, we want you to have the whole experience. So I got this bag, okay, so it's a, if you know your bags, which I do, just like I know my dolls, I know my bags. So this is a Louis Vuitton Alma bag with the graffiti print. Um, yes, Bougetto, okay, but Bougetto, we balling on a budget, okay. But yes, very well put together. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And of course, I like to keep all my boxes because I like to set everything up in the background. And it does open and close. It's functional. So look, look at there. Got the little zipper. You can put your little stuff inside. Okay. Very cute, right? And yeah, these work with Rainbow High too. Okay. Yes. So, um, hey, my dad's on here. Hey, dad. <laughs> I know he's like, go to bed. Um, so yeah, we got that. And then, um, so yeah, she's had a little sale last week. And when I saw this, I was like, girl, I, I'm going to need to get that. <laughs> so yeah, here's the little box. She made a little box. Added her little logo to it. Okay. It's the little things for me. Working zippers are my weakness, right? I just love when, and the zipper's functional, right? I love when the bags are functional. Like, I really do. But look at these little shoes. I think these, I think she said these are IT shoes though, but will you look, like, I can't even look at that. Oh, they're so cute. Like, I literally can't take it. So, fun fact about me, which some of y'all know, like, I'm six feet tall. I hate heels. I've always hated heels. Like, I hate heels. But I can do a wedge. I can do a wedge. And I love sneakers. So, my dolls are kind of a reflection of that. Like, you'll notice my dolls are wearing sneakers or boots or, like, something other than heels. <laughs> when I get an IT doll, like, the first thing I do is sell the shoes and stuff, like, normally. Because, like, no. My dolls, it, they're, they're like me. 
So when I saw these wedges, I was like, oh my God, like I have to have those. And um, so they are for IT, but they definitely um, will fit. I can, I can look at them and tell because unfortunately I'm crazy about this kind of stuff. So I know I can look at these and tell they'll fit a mate to move. Yep, they'll fit a mate to move. They fit her perfectly. I hate, I can't wear wedges anymore. I got some like those. Child, I don't tell nobody, but like, I don't have any heels over here at all. Like, we went to a funeral last Sunday. I didn't even have no heels to wear to the church. Like, I had to wear some flats. <laughs> I was like, this is bad. <laughs> so, I do need to... And I usually wait till like summertime's over. When I did used to wear like heels and stuff. I would wait till summertime was over to like get the good sales and stuff, but I do, but they're minimum. Child, I have no heels at all. And I didn't realize it until I got ready to go to my husband's grandma funeral. Rest in peace, Granny. Like three inches. Child, yes. Like I cannot. I can and I used to model like I used to could really could walk in heels and then like after I had my first kid it was a wrap so I'm gonna cover her up because like she I was playing around with with my my um her name is Samira but she totally looks like Lisa Bonet so my Lisa Bonet doll I was playing around with her she's not have a shirt on because I was just, like changing her clothes but for my back surgery I wore heels all the time girl I never I never really like heels because, like I said, I'm already six feet. Like, I don't want to be... I'm already taller than everybody. <laughs> so, I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. But, yeah. So, there's the outfit with the shoes. <laughs> yes. So, shout out to Ray. Okay. Um, And if you don't know, okay, Ray has a whole doll mall over there. And uh, she sells different stuff, like, from different stores. So... She has a Bath and Body Works, which I got stuff from. I think I have something from all her stores. You wish you were six feet tall. Girl, till it's time to buy, wear some pants. <laughs> no, ma'am. Till it's time to buy some jeans. Child, I had to roll everything up or get the hem taken out. Like, don't get me started. Okay. But, yes. So, yes. She, she did Bath and Body Works, to Victoria's Secrets. She did Cheesecake Factory, um, which she's working on again. And I got to get some cheesecake stuff from her Cheesecake Factory because I, I love Cheesecake Factory even though they're always packed here and you have to make a reservation to even like walk over there but anyway so anyway right now um she's doing Louis Vuitton so I was thankful that I was able to snag this bag and snag these shoes yeah her mall is gorgeous and your mall is gorgeous Barbie Brickhead yes your mall is gorgeous there's Ray hey Ray you, your ears was burning on it girl I was talking about you hey girl hey boo. So I just opened my package, right? Oh, and now she's topless again. Look, let me move her dreads back around to the front so she's not flashing, y'all. Yes, your mom is banging. Like, I just love it. So yes, so here we go. Hey, Leo, look at y'all. Look at all y'all up playing with y'all dolls. I know y'all playing with y'all dolls, but yes, this bag and shoes is everything, Ray. Like, thank you so much. You know, I was on vacation, so that her package, she ships her packages off in a timely fashion. Her package was here when I got back from vacation, as promised. Um, I just didn't want to open it and not record. So I've had it since I got back yesterday, and I'm about to go to sleep. I'm packing up, packing up orders over here, too. But I said, let me open this package. Yes. So you up shopping for dogs, Lil, don't you? Ooh, y'all know, um, well, I don't know if it's still on there, but Amazon was having a sale on that Rainbow High doll. The little, the, like, junior high ones, they were on sale. So, go see if they're still on sale. But, yes. So, yes. Thank you, Ray. I definitely, um, you know, recommend her if you're looking for, like, something unique for your dolls and, um, you want to buy small, which I always suggest, like, I always suggest to buy small. I mean, I know, like, you know, sometimes we, if we want to get a dog when it's new, we got to go to Target or Walmart or, or Amazon or whatever. But if you can get it, like, from anything from a collector or from an artist or something like that, like, I always say try to keep the money rolling and coming back and forth so we can continue to keep up this hobby. I mean, for real. You got a few more? Okay, cool. So, you heard it here from the horse's mouth. Okay, she got a few more of these. These are super dope. Um, I need to go back on your page and see if you have more colors. Because, yes, I'm about to try this on 
Brooklyn sister. So put that on her. Yes, look at that. It's giving what it needs to give. It's giving what it needs to give. Okay. Okay. She ready. She ready to go on her date. I'm a mermaid, not a horse. Exactly. The mermaids. The mermaid emoji. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to change your um uh, your contact on my phone to the mermaid emoji. Period. Period. Yes. Right, Lil? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah. I love it. 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 Go get you a bag. Go get you a bag. Go get you some shoes. Go and she just made some statement shirts too that are banging. So go over there and check her stuff out. And you know, yes. Support, support, support. I gotta get a bag and shoes for my dog. Yes, you do. This bag is everything. Literally everything. Like, yeah. I cannot wait to take some pictures with this stuff because it's bomb. Your dogs make accessories look so dope. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're my models, you know. Because mama can't model no more. Not right now. I'm working on getting back in shape and stuff, but right now, it's not giving what it needs to give. Okay, I gotta suck it and tuck it and you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all mamas know what I'm saying. These kids, they be just not giving what they need to get right now, okay? COVID, we got COVID quarantine bellies, and we got to get it, get it together, okay? But it's all good. Okay, we still have, we made it. We made it. We, still, we happy to be here, damn it. But until then, we can dress our dolls however the hell we want. The reroute you did was so good on Lila. Thank you! Ray, you too, girl. Don't do it. Don't make me blush, right? <sighs> let, me, let me stop having too much fun because they are not asleep. They're not asleep. They're just up there playing. But yeah, the reboot did come out banging. It really did. Do y'all want to go get her? Do y'all want to see Lila? I'm going to go grab Lila real quick, okay? <clears throat> So here's Lila. She's almost done. She's not all the way done yet. Um, because I'm trying to still decide like what look I want her to have. But um, and I'm trying to decide like if I want her to have tattoos. I don't know. I don't know. But she came out exactly how I wanted her to. And you see her hand on her hip? Like her lips just make me feel like she has attitude right every time i see this dog i'm just like like she just got that mood <laughs> i'm gonna send desi to you pink braids because they gotta go i want her to have brown blind locks okay cool girl <laughs> she's should be good hands over here okay she will be in good hands yes child it came out so cute and I just couldn't decide, like, what color I wanted her to have. And I knew I wanted her to be, like, to me, she just seems so, I got to go horizontal, do the girl stuff, child, go ahead. Handle your business, child. Okay, handle your business. <laughs> See, I told y'all Ray is crazy. I told y'all. Don't let her little smile fool y'all, okay? Bye. Later. <laughs> But yeah, she came out so cute. She really did. And Barbie Brickhead, like this doll, because I think you were the first person I saw to post her. Like every time I see this doll, I think about you. Like it's not that she looks like you. It's just something about her that just reminds me of you. So yeah, she's hella cute though. Her little lips is just like, she's just like... Like, I just love it. So, and I knew I would. Like, I love this doll. I loved her when I first got her, but I love her so much. Yes. Like, this is, this doll for me, like, is you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you're welcome. But yeah, she's for sale. I have a few people in my DMs um, inquiring about her. Um, and I just, 
I just have to decide like what I want to do with her. But I did rebody her, of course. I ended up just going ahead and giving her a child right. My face all the time. Exactly. Like that's how I picture you in the comments. This really. <laughs> yeah. So um I'm gonna get more of her and I'm probably gonna reroute a lot of her. In the same way that I do the looks doll, who I call Whitney. And I've sold, like, a lot of her. Um, I have a feeling that she's going to be the same way. And this is the um, the Whitney body. So, um, that's what I ended up putting her on. But, however, she looks good on the WWE body. She looks good on the Wild Hearts Crew body. Um, I haven't put her on a regular made to move yet, but I like her curvy. I don't know why. I just like, I, I like most of my dogs curvy anyway, but I like her on the curvy body. So yeah. So, um, so that's her and I named her Michelle because I named most of my dogs after people who, um, have either been in my life or in my family or whatever wwe body's best room for her i think so too because because she does give me um what's the call it vibes um what's her name kiki, uh, kiki palmer she gives me kiki palmer vibes so the wwe body is like perfect because kiki palmer is like you know really petite and like muscular so it's perfect for her um but i just it's something about the curvy bodies that i like and then her face is kind of big. So I also feel like that she needs to be on like a body, a curvy body for that reason. And I mean, they had her on a regular curvy body. But anyway, back to the reason I named her Michelle. Um, there was a lady in my church when I was growing up who really could sing. And her name was Michelle. And like this doll reminds me of her. So that's why I named her Michelle. And so like if you, um, you'll see on my website once I list her like this will be just how my whitney doll which is the looks doll with the locks who a lot of people love she's definitely one of my favorite reroutes i've ever done and that has probably been the most rerouted doll that i have done is the um, looks with the afro who again i call whitney and she's named after um my little sister my little bonus sister so um and that's why it's spelled it's spelled the same way as my sister whitney so um yeah so this will be the michelle this will be the 1.0 um of michelle so if you're interested in a michelle doll then you know that the base of michelle will look like this and then of course you can pick her locks her colors of her locks um but the Michelle will be this sculpt, locks, and a curvy body. So, hey Z, what are you doing up? What are we all doing up? We need to go to bed. Um, so anyway, yes. So, let's try the bag on Michelle. Michelle 1.0. So here's the bag on Michelle 1.0. Yes, it's giving what it needs to give, okay. But I'm liking this outfit on her. She got a little dapper dan swish swish windbreaker pants and a little like crochet top um that i bought from from someone um one of the one a doll artist i cannot remember her name but um yeah got it from her so i pieced that together i think this may be the outfit that i end up selling her with and of course you know i'm like give her a bag and everything like you know when when you get something from me just expect it to come like literally ready for you to take pictures of yeah the crochet top definitely suits her so um she'll come with a gucci bag maybe this one maybe another one i don't know but um once i if she doesn't sell by tomorrow because like i said i have three people who are questioning and one of them has a lot of dolls for me so she probably would be the one to get her <laughs> but no fear because if you are interested in this doll um Again, just DM me and let me know that you would like a Whitney doll. And you will get Whitney 2.0 or 3.0 or whatever. You can choose the color of her locks or mix it up like how I did here. And of course, um, you know, they all come dripped from head to toe. Bag, shoes, outfit, everything customized. I'm on live. And um, on that note, I'm going to bed. Okay, so 
Again, shout out to Ray. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I will be putting it over there, then don't forget to subscribe, comment, like this post, or dislike. Either way, I appreciate it. Um, and over here on Instagram, y'all, we are 50 followers away from, from 10K. Okay? When we hit 10K, we gonna have a giveaway. Okay? I'm not trying to rhyme. It's just happening. But yeah. So good night, everyone. Good night, Barbie Brickhead. Good night, everybody. Have fun playing with your dolls. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Peace.